Hello, welcome to the all-new CT Style. I'm Ryan Christopher. And I'm Allie Reed, in for Teresa, and I love that catchy tune. It's, it's, Every time it gets, you know. You're dancing, you're dancing all morning here on, on, on CT Style. Uh, so we're stuck here with more uh, depressing weather. But it's, it's, it's not too bad for you because you, you lived say. in Alaska. I did, yes. I uh, like to torture myself by living in locations that are freezing cold and have inordinate amounts of snow, Right. even though I don't like winter. So, so Connecticut that, I mean, was your next stop. Obviously, Connecticut is the warmest <laughs> climate I've been to. <laughs> yeah, Alaska was cold. Alaska, there was a lot of snow. Mm -hmm. It was I, no I, joke I winter. How is it comparable here to Connecticut, is it? Actually, you know what, according to Gil, it's been a worse winter here than yeah. Alaska, which I just think is unfair. So we should just all move to Alaska. We should Alaska. all move to Alaska because it's warmer up there. Alaska style. AK is. is it AK? AK style. AK, AK style. style. AK, AK represent. Mm -hmm. Represent. That's all right. All right. Now we want to give a shout out to our <laughs> fan of the day, Allie. All right. She's Cindy Silver Hancock from Kentucky. Mm. Cindy Kay. says she was raised in Connecticut, but she now lives in the bluegrass state. That's right. She's got KY style, right? KY style. Yeah, okay. I wonder how KY style is this winter. I don't know. That's that's an interesting one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want you to be our fan of the day here in CT. Uh, all you have to do is connect That's with us on style. Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. It's that easy. Oh, there you go. We're off to a good start today, Allie. You know what I'm wondering, though, Ryan? <laughs> what? Speaking of starts, so since I've been filling in for the lovely Teresa, yes. you guys have been so gracious by not washing a mug for me. Oh, so it, it still, still has the remnants of uh, Teresa's lipstick. So I was... That's not seeing creepy if at all. there was going to be, not creepy at all, mm -hmm. any day that it was going to get washed. Well, if you I need a little extra, you uh, could just, you so know. So it's good because I didn't bring my lipstick out with me today, so I feel like I can just so That's refill. why they're so full and right. pink today? Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll have to do if that tomorrow. If you need any, if I need I'm here a for little you. extra. Yeah, Thank I got you. Some. I, I appreciate that. You're such a caring co host. I know. All right, now I'm here for we've, <laughs> we've got some, uh, some good news for all of the IKEA lovers out there. Are, are you a big IKEA fan? You know what? I have never been to never? IKEA. There's one right here in New Haven. I you, know. You it's my it mom's favorite place because apparently you can get ice cream there. Yeah, and Swedish meatballs. And uh, they have a lot of cool new furniture that, that looks pretty good. And we have a, a, a video here for you. Uh, they have a new line called Home Smart, and it wirelessly charges your smartphone and tablet. Oh, I love that because that cuts down on cable clutter. You don't need a charger. I'm always looking for my charger. Yeah. The new line will go on sale in mid-April. So apparently I need to go to Ikea yeah. to check this out. Maybe April's the time. April is uh, one of field my trip? favorite times. Yeah, it's uh, five minutes down the road from the studio. so we Will can, you give me a little tour? Yeah, we can ride a bicycle there or something. Perfect. It'll bicycle be good. for two? Uh, yeah, it, exactly. Okay, exactly. I like it. Uh, and in other Ikea news, Allie, have you heard of the Ikea hackers? Clearly not. No, okay. Well, Inform me, enlighten me. All right, well, this is pretty interesting. Apparently there's a big group of people who turn to Ikea goods uh, from, from goods into greatness. Uh, oh, pun intended there. Pun intended there. I like there. what you did there. Yeah, now people buy the products from IKEA and they turn them into something other than what they're actually intended for. And we have a few examples here for you. Uh, first off, we have uh, some gold spray paint and some wood moldings, and it's possible to take this plain looking, this is an interesting pronunciation, <laughs> Vitsojo bookcase on the left to a vintage looking. Nice star. accent. Vi Vitsojo. Vitsojo. You have sounds to put a little legit when you, twist on it, mm -hmm. right? As long as you pretend like you know what you're saying, it sounds good. And you do, Ryan. That's good job. That's the key to success. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> we have another one here for you. All right, let's check this out. This is a French bench created from two jockmuck. Jo uh, see, see, no, I said it no like, it's jockmuck. No, I like jockmuck. Jockmuck? It sounds more fun. Okay, all right, jockmuck. And it's... Uh, two dining room chairs. It looks pretty good there. They kind of redesigned extended it. Extended bench chair thing. Wow, how about That's that cool. jockmuck? All right, and moving on here, we have <laughs> another one. Uh, I, I think you're going to be excited about this one. It's a little forest house uh, created from an IKEA Fiora bed. It's uh, pretty neat there. Check that out. Cool for the kids. Maybe for Caden. Caden can... would love that. Yeah? Or, I would love that. Or maybe Baby Do. Baby Do is on the way. Teresa's son. Maybe you could put that together for Baby Do. It'll take me a little while. And yeah. we have one more. It's a, an Ichi or No, not an Ichia. Uh, <laughs> it's a Chia pet. No, I'm kidding. It's an Ikea chip Those were clip. my favorite. Uh, and they're not just great for keeping your potato chips fresh. They're also perfect for holding your toddler's hair back. I like that. So there you have it. Allie, may maybe you can wear one on the show tomorrow. Will you go to Ikea and get me a chip clip? I'll get you some potato chip clips, it. and you can wear it in your hair. Maybe I'll wear one, too. Perfect. Let's wear chip clips tomorrow. Let's Matching, perhaps? Uh, I'll, I'll take pink. You take blue. Maybe green? Deal. Okay, green. Fair, okay. fair enough, right. fair enough. like that. All right, now this is a, a very interesting story, Allie. Uh, this have you seen this video? I, I saw it. It's, it's, it's insane. It's kind of freaky, it's right? It's so freaky. 
All right, now we have a video here. Uh, you're, you're probably going to be thinking twice before going to Disney World uh, because, or no, excuse me, Disneyland. If you watch the video closely, you may see a little ghost. Yes, it's walking down toward the bottom of your screen right now. It's a little hard to see, but it's surveillance video from the park after hours. And you can see a figure walking through Disneyland's haunted oh, mansion and rivers. I see it there. See it? That's crazy. Rivers of America areas. Wow. I mean, that's insane. The video was originally released in 2009, but somehow it's recently resurfaced after a Reddit user posted it to the site. Some think the ghostly figure is just a result of reusing VHS tapes, but others think it's the ghost of Disney past. Maybe Walt Disney. Could be. Maybe he's just hanging out there at night doing a little security. Who knows? I mean, I don't know how I feel about ghosts, but that looks like a ghost to me. It's a little creepy, but we want you guys to tweet us or post on our Facebook page to let us know what you think it is. And, and spot, uh, talking about things that are a little out of this world, mm -hmm. uh, we have a little thrifty find. This is a cool story. There was a spacesuit that traveled all the way from the International Space Station, and it was purchased at a Canadian thrift shop. Huh, you don't say. The suit apparently belonged to Chris Hadfield, as you can see there. You may recall he was the astronaut who sang David Bowie's Space Oddity while up in space. He retired from the Canadian Space Agency in 2013 after his trip aboard the International Space Station. But even he doesn't know how his suit got to the thrift store. How does he not know? It's, that's kind of weird. But there's uh, Julian Wong. She's the shopper who spotted the suit. And her, her jaw dropped as soon as she, as she saw it. Look, she's pretty excited there. It's a good there. find. So, so she actually uh, messaged Chris on Facebook to confirm that it was the suit. And he said, yep, that is the suit. And guess what? She only paid, guess how much money she paid for it. Twenty dollars. Twenty bucks. Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Forty dollars for a for a spacesuit that travel. That's that's pretty cool. That's very cool. So. I feel like maybe his wife was cleaning his closet and accidentally threw it away <laughs> She's or like, something. Eh, we don't need, we this. don't need this around. We don't want him going to space again. He no. he has chores that's to do. That's one way to ensure he doesn't go to space. Exactly. Just to get rid of all this stuff. <laughs> all right.